So, what's the use of this to the orchid? The answer lies hidden in the orchid's ingenious design. The purple area on the left is a model of the female wasp. In the little sac on the right, there is sticky pollen. This compartment, which includes the model of the female wasp, is attached to the plant by a small but strong joint. When stimulated, this joint allows the female wasp model to move towards the pollen sac. When the bee attempts to pick up the female and fly away, he comes into contact with the pollen sac because of this mechanical design. There, the pollen is stuck to the bee. When pollen unites with the female cell, the plant is fertilized, and a while later, a seed appears. A seed ensures the continuation of that plant species, and each one of them is an example of God's creative artistry. In the Quran, God particularly draws attention to the creation of a seed. Have you thought about what you cultivate? Is it you who make it germinate, or are we the germinator? If we wished we could have made it broken stubble, you would then be left devoid of crops, distraught. In the autumn, a special kind of fungus appears on the forest floor. The Earth Star. On first glance, its plainness belies the wonderful design it contains. As time passes and the humidity in the air grows, Earth Stars undergo a major change. Their skin cracks open and a very special weapon comes out from inside the plant. This is a real shooting system. And it is a very special system created to project the spores, that is, the seeds of the plant, over a great distance. The leaves you see stabilize the mechanism on the ground. And this is the barrel that will do the shooting. A drop of rain triggers the mechanism. It shoots. The wind will carry these spores great distances and the fungus will reproduce its species. Some flowers use air transport to spread their seeds. Under each of these white balls, there are about 100 seeds. These seeds are bigger than the spores of the earth stars, and they need a special device to enable them to stay aloft. And inside each seed, there is a special ready-made flying mechanism a parachute. This parachute is so effective that even a light breeze will let the seeds waft high into the air.
Each one of these tiny helicopters you see carries a seed. The size of the seed and the length and design of the wing display a wonderful harmony. Now, let's pause a moment and look at the details of this system. Here is a real design. The scale, size, and weight of the flight system are completely designed to transport the seed. Even the distance between the seed and the mechanism is adjusted to balance the center of gravity. If this mechanism were any shorter or longer, the seed could not fly. Human beings use parachutes. There is one very important point that must not be forgotten. Those who designed parachutes were individuals with knowledge and intelligence. The flowers that use much more effective parachutes than the ones human beings use are only plants. They have no intelligence or consciousness. But thanks to God's incomparable creation, these plants construct perfect flight mechanisms. This presents us with an evident miracle. And this miracle is proof that God created every living thing on the face of the earth. Here is the Amazon rainforest. In the Amazon rainforest, the air is generally hot and humid. The wind almost never blows. This makes air transport difficult. That's why plants must provide their seas with much more wonderful flight equipment. For example, a double wing. Just beneath the wings you see here is the seed of a tree. Aircraft designers have tried to design a wing as effective as this, but they have not been able to. Man-made aircraft fly much less effectively. And these aircraft have been designed by intelligent and knowledgeable engineers. The wings carrying the tree seed have the finest aerodynamic design in the world. The slightest movement of warm air lifts this glider and its pilot, the seed, into the air and extends the duration of the flight. So, the seed travels a long way from the tree from which it came. To throw their seeds into the air, trees use other vehicles besides aircraft. For example, helicopters. A larger seed or a smaller propeller would cause the mechanism to fall to the ground like a stone. 